Consecrate yourself to God in the morning. Make this your very first work. Let your prayer be, Take me, O Lord, as wholly thine. I lay all my plans at thy feet. Priorities of Faith 10 Days of Prayer Today, on Day 4, Pastor Eduardo Montero with the theme, The Freedom of a Focused Life of Simplicity. Hello, this is Day 4 of the 10 Days of Prayer. I am Pastor Eduardo Montero, and the message for today is the freedom of a focused life and simplicity. Let's start reading Matthew 6, 16 through 18. Words of Jesus. And when you fast, do not look gloomy like the hypocrites, for they disfigure their faces that their fasting may be seen by others. Truly I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, anoint your head and wash your face, that your fasting may not be seen by others, but your Father who is in secret. And your Father who sees in secret will reward you. Fasting means declaring your minds and lives by deliberately making room for the movement of the Holy Spirit in us and focusing on God and His Word. The Bible often mentions fasting in connection with prayer. Jesus fasted before He started His public ministry. The apostles fasted and prayed to be guided by God. And in the Old Testament, fasting was frequently practiced among believing men and women. In contrast to wellness fasting, biblical fasting is not about observing a specific diet designed to weight loss and well-being. Instead, it is for the conscious decisions to abstain from food and distracting activities for a period of time to pray and commune with God. By temporarily giving up the familiar, we gain new spiritual freedom. During fasting and prayer, the focus of daily life changes. Away from satisfying our own needs, away from our own words and works, and toward obedient listening to God. Biblical fasting express our desire to increase our dependence on God and pay attention to spiritual things that truly matter. This encompasses more than not eating. In fact, it challenges every area of our lives. In fasting, we acknowledge that we want to make space for God by reducing any distractions that crowd our attention and desire. We indicate that we want to seek and treasure God's presence in our lives and more than anything else. So the question is, how can we live this life of simplicity where we learn to concentrate on things that truly matter? Just as we need to watch what we eat, we must be mindful of what we put before our eyes and what enter our ears. What we hear affects our thoughts just as much as what we see. What types of music, books, podcasts, or websites cause toxic thoughts or occupy our precious times with vanity? In addition to abstaining from certain things, you may need to deliberately include new habits to help you build and create healthy healing thoughts. A life of simplicity, a mind unfrazzled, does not come from what the world tells us to pursue. A content heart comes from trusting God. When we learn to focus on Him rather than on what others are doing, 
And when we practice letting go the things that distract us, we discover a simpler life of rest and peace with our Creator and Redeemer. Join me at this time in prayer. Our loving and heavenly Father, we praise your name today because we can come boldly before your throne and commune with you. Father, help us focus on heavenly things. Fill our minds and thoughts with sanctified, O oh Lord, uh, habits, thoughts, and, 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 and the Word of God most and above all. Lord, as we fast, as we deliberately uh, stay away from distractions of this world, help us focus on you, Father, alone and on your Word. Bless each one of my friends today, your people, your church, wherever they are. We pray in Jesus' most wonderful name. Amen. God bless you.